Hi everybody, um, welcome again to my channel. I know I haven't um, uploaded any video in probably months, uh, but was very busy. Um, but at least I was able to finish one last um, one last um, exercise, I would say. Um, so people can continue practicing and I can continue practicing myself. Uh, this new video is going to be talking a little bit, preparing the terrain for um, this scene, okay? Uh, this one I did, oops, I did create it myself, okay? It doesn't exist, okay? It's that one, this packet filler. It is kind of like a version of this filling tank that the factory IO gives you, but the um, this scene or this tutorial it is completely made by me. Okay, um, what I was thinking, well, I was trying to do kind of like an exercise a little bit more practical than the previous ones we were doing, although some of the last ones they were pretty okay as a practice. This one, um. It is kind of like a part of a factory, okay, pretty much. Um, and I'm trying to simulate um, pretty much a system or a station that is going to fill buckets or bottles of any kind of fluid, okay? And, and it's going to be doing automatically, okay? So the simulation is, well, you're going to use these packets, okay? I just try to think as a bottle of something. And and we're going to fill up this tank, and then we're going to connect it in the automatic mode, and then the tank is going to be filling one after another of these packets or um, boxes or bottles or whatever, containers, let's say containers, one after another, until the a tank is, is empty, right? Um, there is different options you can do, okay? I'm going to show you what I was thinking I was having in mind. You can change this thing completely, okay? You can tweak it to do exactly what you want, make it even more automatic than I did, okay? In my case, what I was thinking was just make a tank, okay? The tank has to be filled up manually, so it has two modes, Manual mode and automatic mode. You can see here manual mode and automatic mode. And you have here the filling um, switch, the draining switch, the level. It is controlled in both ways. You can control that, or well, three ways, two ways, sorry. You can control that here with a line that is going to appear. And it's going to tell you what is the level of height, I guess, in centimeters. Yeah, so you can see here. Or, um, you can you can see that here in this small uh, screen, okay? Then you get here two indicators when this thing is full or when this thing is completely empty, okay? Indicator, and then you get the other typical emergency stop and then the start switch, okay? This one, I have to say, is probably one of the most complex I've done until today, okay? The main reason is because uh, this type of tanks in this program, uh, you can use it as a digital mode or analogic mode. And you had to do it the way I wanted to do it, had to be analogic. Okay, and I'm going to show you the reason why. You're going to discard this thing. And the reason why, we're going to open the original one, which is going to be the scene. Filling tanks with the timer. If you can see, this thing can be, oops, sorry, here, can be configured as digital or analog. If we see what do we have here, if it's in the digital mode, we pretty much have a discharge valve, a fill valve, and pretty much that's all, okay? If we change it to analogic mode, we also have flow meter, and level meter, okay? That is going to be key to know how much are we discharging and how much are we discharging, pretty much. 
okay or how much are we charging okay in the other mode you don't know okay the only way to know is just seeing that level that you're gonna see okay what I wanted to do pretty much was uh, let me see I'm gonna show you the other one packet filler here it is discard the previous one um what I wanted to do is a system okay that every time these containers they're gonna have the same amount of fluid right I want that is consistent right so the only way was originally I was thinking what I could do with time you know when this container goes into the sensor and and, and I open the, this discharge valve I can control that with time with like well discharge valve which is a, a, a flow with the time I have a volume pretty much right however I realized uh, that this tank makes sense when you fill it up till the top or when it's kind of like at the low level it's gonna flow at different rates okay the pressure here of the tank because of the fluid is gonna be higher and it's gonna push more fluid to go through the discharge valve or the such a discharge exhaust system okay that is gonna change uh, as long as little by little well, this fluid is going to get lower and the pressure of the of the gravity is going to be density is going to be lower okay and that is something i didn't think about originally but then i was playing a little bit with the thing with this tank and then i realized like of course makes sense the, the discharge flow is going to change and that it was going to mess it was going to mess up exactly the the volume that it was going to be fill it up it was going to be um discharged into these containers at the beginning the containers they were going to have some volume but then as time passes and new containers they go and this fluid in the tank is reducing the level then uh, the, the, the level of the liquid is going to be smaller so of course that couldn't be okay imagine that you just send that to you ship that to clients then the client says well one day a bottle of water has 33 centiliters and another one has only like 30 centiliters and another time it has like only 25 centiliters but you're paying the same of course can't be so it forced me to use um the label okay as or the the, the flow sorry the flow and the level as the measurements so i control the level pretty much and when it goes from i think it was four or five uh, centimeters of level between one line and the other one is pretty much what is going to be enough to charge one of these uh sorry um it's going to load one of these uh, or fill up one of these uh containers okay in that way the volume is the same this is constant the the, the section is constant Okay, so then between 60 and 65 is the same thing as between 115 and 110. Okay, so that was the way I was thinking. And this is the way I made this thing. Okay, so um, just explain a little bit more. Um, I made a conveyor. Okay, has the entry point and the exit point. I can imagine that this thing is coming from another side of the factory. Okay, but in my view when they give me that project for example as an engineer i only see this portion this portion of the uh, entire factory okay and these are my limits conveyors come conveyors leave okay the conveyor is pretty simple it's only one long conveyor uh, i get two stops which in fact i realize i don't need them at all i think i don't use them to be honest this project i made or this tutorial i made it like a long time ago so i don't remember exactly exactly what i did i think i don't use it anymore I was using I was thinking I was gonna use those two stops okay just to be sure but what I did is reduce a little bit the space between one container and the other one and use that sensor to stop the conveyor or not okay pretty much it stops when um, the container just or well, the photo eye or diffuse sensor sees the com uh, container okay so it's perfect aligned with the discharge valve and then it starts the process okay the things I did is I forced just to make it simpler, okay. I forced the system to be loaded or fill it up manually, okay. So you have to connect in more manual mode to fill up the tank, okay. And then you is when you can start with the 
um, automatic mode, okay, which is the one that is going to do the production, okay. When, if you fill it up too much, what is going to happen, it goes to a certain mo uh, a level, what I wanted was that it stops filling it up, it drain a little bit, okay, which we can imagine, although I cannot uh, simulate that in this program, but I would imagine that I go to another valve, in fact, and it's discharging to like a valve that is going to go to the main fluid system, to the main reservoir, and it reduces to a certain level, and then it can continue filling up, okay? Um, I didn't, in this case, put the alarm. But to be honest, I may change it in the future just to put that alarm connected to fill it up. So if it goes too much, apart from doing that, so it stops. You can do it at it stops. You can do that it stops, reduces as I did, and then continue filling it up. But at least tells the operator, okay, or the worker that is going to probably be working in this station and maybe in another one too, that he has to come and check what is going on. Uh, he probably didn't forgot to have this switch this um, filling switch on, okay? So it's like a disconnect that. Now the, the, he can drain it auto, uh, manually. He can drain it manually with this switch. The same thing, it would go probably to the system or it could just connect to automatic mode. When the automatic mode is going to be uh, reducing the fluid as uh, when more and more containers are coming, and it's going to probably reach the minimum, okay? When you reach a minimum value in automatic mode, it connects the alarm, okay? It tells the operator, like, hey, it is empty, okay? You could make it that it automatically fills up weight, fills up the thing to a certain amount, and then continue the process. You can make it like that. I want it for some reason is that the operator comes so he can check that everything is fine, okay? Um, I like to use a lot of um, workers to check things like that. So everything is, is fine, and he can just check that the level is good, it's just that it's empty and it's not that, for example, there was a leak or things like that, okay? That's why I put that alarm, okay? Put this alarm, so then it's going to sound it's a little bit annoying sound, but what well, is the way I was thinking. I could change it, as I said, make it more automatic. That shouldn't be a big of an issue, but well, the original design, I didn't make it like that. The other, have to, the other thing I have to say is that, as I said, it is for me, it was a little bit more complex than others. And I had to use a lot of these analogic um, networks, okay? So you can see, you get some digital, but you can see more analogic than in the previous examples, okay? That is because this tank had to be analogic, okay? As I think I saw you here, it is in analog. And that forced me to use those Networks a little more analogic than in the previous examples. Okay, if I had the option, I would make it more digital if I could. Okay, of course, uh, recording the level, showing the level, these things have to be analog, but the rest, connecting valves, discharging valves, solenoid systems, those I, perma I pretty much prefer to make it digital um, because it's much simpler for me personally. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit how it works. Uh, before I finish this video, okay, and I'm gonna let you think about, try to make it. You just saw that it was like few networks there in the TIA portal, okay, here in the coding. And you can see how it works, what is what it did, okay. Um, you can try to prepare that the same way or change anything that you want, okay. Pretty much the construction is pretty easy. I just put the, the tank put some of these columns just to make it a little more realistic and then I put the conveyor entry exit and then only one diffuse sensor pretty much uh, we're gonna see but I think I don't use the roller stops at all okay we're gonna see if I don't remember okay so let's say we're gonna start I'm gonna put it in easy manual mode as you can see manual mode is here so I'm gonna continue I'm gonna start and I'm gonna fill it up Okay, as you can see, now it's in manual mode, it fills up the tank to a certain level, the one that you want. Okay, I was going to do to the maximum. Uh, so it has more time, but of course, if not, we're going to solve the feature. So imagine that it goes all the way out until like it fills up the tank. Okay, you can drain manually here. 
you can stop it and then we can connect it now the operator says everything is fine there is no leaks you can wait and then see oh this is between 56 and 57 centimeters i'm fine which you can just check here that is correct between 56 and 57 and i'm going to connect it in automatic mode so now it drains in this case i think it was between four and six centimeters uh times the section that is the volume the next one and it's going to continue like that um until it'll, the tank self um drains totally okay let's imagine that all this fluid is going right now here to the to the containers okay and this is pretty much going to be repetitive okay so let's say now we put it in manual mode and i restart the thing i could train i'm going to train just a little bit so you can see Who's is low okay here it is so we're going to continue now with the automatic mode imagine that the tank it was draining all this fluid to these containers it's going to go to a certain level which i forgot which one is i think it's 10 centimeters okay so i think it's going to be the next one Hey, you see the sound a really annoying sound is telling the worker hey the tank is is low so then he would come and it can continue if you don't touch it it's going to continue okay i could make it automatic that pretty much now it just stops cells fill and then continue but i wanted the work to come and then check there is no leaks okay so the tank is completely empty just because it was draining all this fluid to the system so then he can put it in manual mode sound stops thankfully and then he can refill the tank again okay so pretty much that is this exercise this tutorial i would say please if you have the option try to copy as much as you want and then just change anything that you want as i said i personally had to make this one with the analogic mode but uh if you want to check change things okay just consider that as i said the flow the rate of the flow when this thing is going to be draining it is going to be higher it's going to change over time depending on how much fluid you have okay and also if you want to make it more automatic just make it more automatic you can take that sound you can put lights so then like it has a visual um um identification so the workers can come you can make it as automatic as you want or less automatic if you want okay thank you and um if you have any question comment below in the video as soon as I can, as I said, I'm a little bit busy lately. Uh, so probably it's going to take days. I would say even more than a week. I would say at least a couple of weeks and could be even more to solve this problem. Okay, and show you exactly little by little what I did, explaining all this step by step. Uh, and then we can compare or you can compare what I did with what you think. And maybe we can see mistakes that I made all good ideas that I had uh, in order to code in this, this example, okay?